Bible says, don't cast your pearl before swine. Every great man has secrets. And only a foolish man will throw kingdom secrets. These are mysteries that I have kept for many years. That God vowed by his name that if these truths are kept, there will be no limit. Hallelujah. There's no shortcut to the realm of greatness. Please listen. There is no shortcut to the realm of greatness. I can tell you why many of us may never rise higher, no matter how we pray and cry and pray. The reason is because when it comes to this subject of sacrifice, there are very few people that have passed this test. Listen, you must give up something to go up. You cannot hold yesterday and tomorrow at the same time. Today is the line that separates yesterday from tomorrow. And you must choose one. To remain in yesterday or to leave yesterday for tomorrow. Hallelujah. This is what has separated preachers into different cadres. This is what has separated anointed people. This is what has separated business people. This is what has separated exceptional people. There are no shortcuts, brothers and sisters. Sacrifice. Even in the occult, even in the occult, it is taught you must lay down something to go up. Hallelujah. Every great man can tell you, can show you what he laid down. If you can't remember what you laid down, you shouldn't be great. Because it's something that should cost you your life. Ladies, some of you want to marry great men of God. Oh God, give me the question is, what are you bringing to the table? Because God is not a foolish God. Give me prosperity, Lord, I must be a millionaire. Sacrifice. John chapter 10. John chapter 10. We are going to pray. Please. If, if this is the only thing you will get in these seven days, it will change your life. John chapter 10, verse 17, 17 and 18. Let's see something very instructive as we pray. And I want you to pray with all your heart. 17 and 18, help us. John 10, 17 and 18. Therefore, Doth my father love me? Why? Because I lay down not my intelligence, not my resources. I lay down my life that I may take it again. Next verse. This is what we are going to pray. No man takes it from me. In other words, I was not forced into it. He says, I have power. That's what we're going to be praying tonight. I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it again. Hallelujah. So when you, leave, when you see a man leave his ambition, it's not because he's a stupid person. He has the power to lay it down. When you see great things that you can get, but on account of the kingdom you leave it is a sign of tremendous strength in the spirit. It's called the power to lay down. The power to lay down. That's what many Christians don't have. Listen, if you don't have the power to lay down, you will never be able to give God anything. There is power that helps men lay down. You say, I have it. The power to lay down. Hallelujah. This morning I woke up and God just gave me a very mighty instruction. A huge seed that the ministry should sow. And immediately I made calls. I said, this seed, let this transfer be done. This and that, let it leave immediately. I cannot tell you, listen. I cannot tell you how many times I have emptied my account before the Lord in honor of Him. When you see a man great, don't look at the crown. Look at the scar. The testament of sacrifice. Hallelujah. 
there is nothing in my life today and God is my witness that I cannot give God. If God says this is the last night I am preaching, I will drop this mic. I will only cry because I love what I'm doing. But I will drop it never to pick it up again. That, that death that produces power is not in many of us. We love God, but to lay things down this is the secret of joy and peace. When you have an affinity for things, you are ready to die. Because your joy is tied to them. The Bible says where your treasure is. Where your treasure is. Your treasure is in that relationship. So you move at the frequency of it. Your treasure is on that job. Your heart is there. So you move at the frequency of it. Great men in life. Winners in life are those who have lost whatever they, they, they want. Those who win the Olympic, listen, they win the Olympic because they have factored in not winning. Their joy is no longer from winning. Their joy is from expressing their passion. That's what makes them win. Because you see, the fear of laying things down cripples your advancement in that area. Many times, when God wants you to conquer a realm, he will ask you to surrender what is the greatest in that realm. The moment you surrender it, you have overcome that realm forever. Hallelujah. I'd like you to search in your life right now. What can God make a demand of that you cannot give him? I know many of us say, oh God, take everything. It's not true. It's not true. Because if it were true, I guarantee you, many of us will not be where we are. And I'm not just talking of money. Listen, money is the least of what God wants from you. My son, give me your heart. You know how heavy it is to give God your heart? Your heart is the central focus, the pivot, the epicenter of your relevance. And God says, From beginning to the end, it will always be Always be you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. For Jesus, you're the center. Everything revolves around you, Jesus. Sing from my heart. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. Listen. There are, there are preachers who will never move forward because heart attack, their, their ego is tied to the ministry. They want everything done well. They, they are for the sake of their reputation. God knows. God knows that in this life, if you are to set, if you are to set anything in my life on fire, there are three things I'm going to request for. Number one, my books. My books, not books I read. Books that represent the visions of my destiny. Then maybe number two, my phone. When I get that one, burn everything to ashes. It means nothing to me. You must come to a point. I'm not teaching you irresponsibility. I'm teaching you how to gain things. In the spirit, we gain by losing. We gain by losing. Everything you cannot lose is what Satan will hold on to and destroy your life some of us will never marry because we can't lose relationships there is such allegiance to it you can go to hell fire with the, with the brother there are people who love ministry more than God God says leave ministry God forbid they, they are so obsessed about being men of God that they will leave God's presence to be men of God He says, gather unto me my saints. They that have made a covenant. Hallelujah. You see a Jimmy here? Let me tell you a little story about him. 
I remember the first crusade. Let me tell you a little. The history of this ministry. Huh? It's only Koinonia that is five years. The ministry is not five years. When we started our first crusade, this was the person who designed the poster. He was the only one who had a computer. I will never forget. Now, I'm not teaching you to do it. He deliberately carried over a course because of that crusade. Deliberately. Was the best student in his set. But it was a sacrifice. It was not just being stupid. I'm not saying all these crazy things people do around. No. But this was, his heart was in it. He designed the poster. The shirts for the crusade. The ladies, the first sets of ladies in this ministry, when we went to the place of the crusade, they climbed trees to plot the fire. They were members of welfare. They were members of worship. One of the times, we'll show you the video. Aaron, Victor, you see, all, it was not protocol now. That time, they were members of technical. They would carry the equipment on their head and climb a mountain-like hill. And you see them singing and dancing. Sacrifice. I will never forget one of the nights after the meeting. I was so tired. I slept up with my suit. It was one lady who came and removed my shoe. She's married now. Not flesh, not lust. Passion. Backed up by sacrifice. That's what you see today. People laid down their finances. One time we were in need of so much money and a Jimmy carried his entire uh, computer there and he just put on sale who wants to buy so that money it, it was never God is my witness I never had my scholarship once once everything for the king what are you willing to lay down to go up God will not just appear to you he's not an idiot he takes sacrifice are we together right now someone is playing keyboard here he's already frowning at you and say i need fifty thousand every month that that guy my talent must be rewarded you see let me tell you that's why we never grow in the kingdom by the grace of god i know and i love the workers in this ministry they work their life out sacrifice someone arrange you must begin to look at life from a cost dimension not just a pleasure dimension. Lazy and weak people are the ones who want others to do it and then we enjoy it. We like a wolf. That's why we are poor and broke in Africa. Somebody do it for me. But a true leader knows that it has to be your shoulder that others will climb up. Are we together? Sacrifice. We want money, no sacrifice, nothing for the kingdom, no commitment. Everything is for me, myself. There are times God will just instruct me and say, carry your clothes, carry this and sew them and I'm releasing it to go. I think the workers know and, and I say it with all humility. A man who came from Kaduna State, very clean, beautiful car, came and packed it and said, man of God, the Lord instructed that I honor you this and I laughed and the Lord told me don't collect it I, now I'm not doubting whether God sent him or not but I know what God told me and I said pastor I love you and I bless you I pray for you but take your car the power to lay it down the power to lay it down there are times people have honored me with seats in millions and God has said no this is not for you transfer it whether for koinonia or distributing to certain ministries. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, if you do not have the power to lay down, you will never go. Are we together? That ability to release, you will look foolish doing it until his hand rises upon your life. The power to lay down. What, what can you not give God? That's what we need to attack this night. I'm not bothered about what you have given him. There is an Isaac that you cannot give God. Some of us, you can give God everything but relationship. The day God says, Kai, Mr. Man, 
lead this sister. You will bind and cast and say, God, do any other thing but lead this one. And that becomes the devil's access point. Others is your beauty. You can't lay it down. Even time to pray, you are praying and looking and admiring yourself and doing all, all kinds of careless things in the presence of God. Others, this sense of pigmanism. There, there are too many nonsense that we need to lay down. When you come before God, you must come knowing that, Lord, a man can have nothing except that which is given to him. I love God more than Koinonia. I love you so much, you know that. But if God makes a demand to pay, I will look at you, cry like you, and wave my hands and say, Baba, I love you, but I love him. Do you love him that much? It's not just praying and say, God, give me power. We have to suspend the counseling temporarily. Those of you who come for the counseling know. I will begin to counsel people from morning, sometimes till 9, 10. This morning I was praying. I think he was there. They just dragged somebody who could not walk well from church. The family carried the car. They didn't even ask for permission. They had come for counseling once. So they knew my place. It was while they came to do something that he was going. I, I was just trying to rest because I had hardly slept. I was even weak. I needed to just rest small and pray. The heart of sacrifice. You want to do ministry. Many of us want crowd. Do you have the heart to attend to God's people without demanding money? Without demanding money. Some of you here, pastors, you are looking at me, scattered in the congregation. If God gives you half the grace you are seeing, you will drop those big on one uh, offering, uh, uh, what they call it, that container, that basin, one side. And build people to bless them. Do you have the sacrifice? Most of the leaders you are seeing here, many of them have not really broken their fast with food. Just took liquid and had to make sure everywhere is in order. You may just come, sit down, enjoy the excellence and go back. But your, your breakthrough is riding on the pains of somebody. God's system, his kingdom will only ride on the shoulders of men. When they change the method, they die. Sacrifice is always the way to carry the ark. It was supposed to be on the shoulder of priests. At a point, they said, no, no, no. Let's, let's use another technology. They made machines and God scattered it. The ark will always be on the shoulders of men. So every time you want something great, don't look at the crown. The other side of the equation is there is a sacrifice. God is my witness and you can tell how many times I pray for myself. My prayer is for you. While you are sleeping and praying, change somebody's story. Change somebody's life. I don't know how many hours I've slept when this thing started. Sacrifice. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Sometimes you see me come late for koinonia. It's not just that I just sit down and cross my leg. We may be coming from a trip. Coming from somewhere. Straight. Not even to think of the issue of food. Brothers and sisters, there is no way around it. It's true sacrifice. Are we together? You must be able to lay something. As the student, people use all kinds of skills to pass exam. Cold water and they put their legs inside. You think they like it? Sacrifice. One hand is driving mosquitoes and the eyes painstakingly looking at the book. It's called sacrifice. You will see a lady tying her weave on through the rain and running through it to go and write exam. Sacrifice. That's how it is in the spirit. If you are unwilling to lay down something, business people, listen, let me talk to you. It takes sacrifice. Don't think you just wear suit and say, I'm a CEO, CEO of nonsense. There, there, there is tears. There is pain. The sacrifice, the audacity to lay things down. Sometimes your profit is there for you to eat. But you need to endure. That's what is killing us in Nigeria. You start selling shoes, you get 5,000 naira. With the 5,000, you buy a shoe and say, see what God has done. You come and testify here and be poor for the rest of your life. Sacrifice. I like the evil people in this. 
you will see an evil person who is a multi-millionaire for instance he will just make sure the resources he meets his basic needs with it while enduring the day you know he's rich is the day he will marry that's the day he will show you that my greeting you on sandals and eating yam on the street is not a sign of stupidity i'm i'm enduring the present for the future that sense of sacrifice we lack in our generation we want everything now sharp sharp you start ministry you want 50,000 people. We want to be like Oedeko, to build an auditorium of 1,000 capacity. As if he, start, he built it when he started the ministry. See? So, that sense of process, the sacrifice of going through process. Brothers, let me challenge you. We are going to pray, but I'm talking to you from my heart. Stop living a fake life. Don't try to look rich. Pay the price and be wealthy don't try to look it oh my suit my this no 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 no. don't try to look anointed pay the price and be really anointed don't let any man fool you it's not everything in the kingdom that is a gift there are things that are rewards rewards of pay rewards of silent nights rewards of times where you will sit and say will the sun ever rise and yet his voice comes to you my grace sufficient are we together what is happening to us here right now is sacrifice there are people right to the back some you people like are even lucky inside here there are people outside all the overflow standing praying who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice the macedonians did not just give their offering the bible says they gave of themselves you sacrifice your strength to build the house of God some of you have been here for so long you've not joined any department you just stroll and roam around prayer department when you are you have some problems and just keep enjoy yourself and run back sacrifice sacrifice I love people who who have have mastered the art of releasing things when I see a man who has affinity for anything, the person irritates me. Because I know that that person will infect me with a wrong spirit. Whosoever keeps his life shall lose it. Your fear of keeping it will make you lose it. But whosoever will lose it for my sake. Everything belongs to him. My money is God's money. And I mean it literally. My joy is his joy. My life is his life. There is nothing. I've, I've asked God, if there is anything I cannot give you in my life, Joshua Selma, tell me. I will lay it down. Years ago, God asked me, said, can you give me your life? Ah! I thought about it. I said, no, God, I can't give you my life. I can give you my, I can donate myself for persecution and all of that. But I can't give you my life. And God did something to me. I have the power to lay it down. A dead man does not fear again because you are dead. The reason, let me tell you why many of you are afraid. You are afraid of everything. You are only afraid of what you think you have. Anything that has left you, why do you fear it again? You are, are you afraid of this water? It's not your own. They brought it for me. If somebody wants to touch it, the owner is the one who gets concerned. If I want to touch a Jimmy's child now, Pastor Alpha will not react to his child because it's not your own is the owner of the child so you are reacting to things in life because you are the owner when you hand it over to god you will watch things like this and say god if you don't change it that's your cup of tea that's how i do ministry i never give myself headache to say oh god my reputation i i left it to him sins if god stands to watch me fall it's his cup of tea put pressure on god with your sacrifice let god know that your life means nothing to you compared to him and you will see god move in ways that will shock you are you willing to lay it down are you willing to lay it down or this holy is my money that's what made many of our parents poor my money my house and god said maintain it since it's your own may you must maintain
economy knows dives and you know dive with it but when you hand it over to god bishop oyedeko said the day they were dedicating covenant university the lord asked him lie down on the ground in the presence of everybody and hand over this institution to me and he did so and god visited him we are going to pray right now lift up your isaac that thing that you have refused to lay down and say god it belongs to you it belongs to you and i mean it literally if you make a demand of it i will release it tonight i receive the power to lay down lift your voice and pray the power to lay down my business the power to lay down ministry the power to lay down your joy your ambition the power to lay down your accolade the power to lay it down pray lord i have no affinity for anything 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 it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh. story i went to port Harcourt with 800 naira 800 naira they escorted me to the park and i went i dropped at number 23 Equerry street 800 naira home and abroad and a bag that was given as a seed i will never forget an instruction god gave me one time it was christ embassy prosperity convention reverend eddie Owasi evangelist and challenge people to sow others were sowing cars land i didn't even have anything like that but i remember going there i carried literally god is my witness all my clothes my rechargeable lantern and everything i zipped the bag i laid my hands on it and prayed in tongues for three hours at a stretch i said lord this is all i have to give you this is all i have to give i must break the back of poverty what my father did not give me let me give my children i will pay the price he didn't know but me i can't afford no 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 i can't let my child i can't give him explanation and lie to him and say it's the way nigeria is because he will ask me why are we like this when i prayed i carried that bag when i came for a meeting like this i was at the overflow outside and i held the bag and people were going to drop seats at the altar and the holy spirit humiliated me he said you will not go stay back i stayed back when people finished sowing their seed then the lord said you can now go it's not like the bag was fine it's not even like it was you, there were ladies in that place i'm a young man you know the embarrassment but sometimes you need to you need to 
love your tomorrow more than your today such that it, it doesn't embarrass you to give up anything i dragged that back before everybody god is my witness i was praying in tongues somewhere laughing at me but that's their business i don't know where they are today i dragged that back listen when i dropped that bag at the altar i knew i died when you give ishmael you can laugh it's not every giving cheerful does not mean laughing because there is seed that so wet and weeping you will ask yourself did i hear god i dropped that seed i went back outside and sat down and the holy ghost spoke expressly to me he said son from today you have entered wealth hallelujah i think it was last year or 2014 at the beginning of the year the holy ghost gave us an instruction to carry everything when i say the money of the ministry everything everything i believe in savings principles but i believe in obedience the stupidity of sacrifice we carried everything like fools and sold everything do you know what that means a ministry that you, you labor savings investment everything and you carry everything to be stupid and not to be paid. and god began to bless and multiply strangely and mysteriously till tomorrow something you are withholding is keeping you where you are are you hearing what i'm saying and i'm not talking money brothers and sisters let your mind not go to money something you are refusing to hand over to donate to god and say lord i give you this i will be responsible over it but the day you place a demand it must go is it your car is it your house see pastor say my ministry and it's killing them they have to reconcile all the troublemakers in the ministry they have to because it's their own my business he said when you have built houses do not say my power and the might of my hand has given me this he said but thou shall remember it means you can forget i like you to pray and say my god take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord use all of me all of me lord pray lord take everything take everything my life my intellect my gifts my skill A man of God held his beautiful wife and they made up their minds that they were going to serve the Lord as instructed by God. God placed a demand and told them he needed them in the vineyard. When the man went to go and meet the girl's father and said, God has called us into the vineyard, the father looked at the lady and he asked her in which language did God speak to him. The man was angry and said, this, took, this idiot wants to humiliate you know the world makes you think obey except you are obeying your mind but it is the god of heaven you are obeying today i will not mention the name of the man of god today i'm sure the father and the mother will leave off the blessing forever forever let nothing be too much that you cannot give god people's phones lost and they they become mad temporarily and it's not like there's anything on the phone you see they are not doing anything but because of your attachment am i against responsibility no they steal your laptop and steal your joy with it steal your hope you you move around no 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 i can't understand but the day you didn't see your bible you left it in colonia you were patient till next friday before you came and carried it because your heart is not there are we together yeah sacrifice you're spending time with god pray somebody just calls and say are you free you say yes i'm free god wait where your treasure is that's where your heart will be please don't just laugh i'm not entertaining you this is the secret of greatness
my necessary food. Some of us, you have given God your money, but you have not given Him your time. Some, you have given God time, but your finances is your own. Some, you have given your spirit, but your body is still your own. That's why your body is putting you in trouble. When you don't surrender everything, then He's not Lord of your life. Lord means master, owner. It also means controller. The Bible said the spirit drove Jesus. He didn't tell him to go. Jesus' body was such un, under such influence. The Holy Spirit drove that body to the wilderness. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, any area of my life I've been unable to give you, I receive grace to hand it over to you right now. Please pray. As you are praying, God will be telling you the areas. You have given me A and B, but you have not given me this area. Some of us, is your commitment, your time to fellowship in the house of God. You've given God everything. But when you come to church, one hour, you are complaining. One hour, you are crumbling. Lord, I give you my time. My time is in your hand. I give you my intellect. I give you my skill. I give you my business. I give you everything. Belongs to you. Belongs to you. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points quickly. I'd like you to pray this with all your heart. I'd like you to pray and say every spirit of ownership. Listen, that spirit that that tries to you are not an owner of nothing you are a steward a steward everybody says steward you will die when things belong to you you are a steward steward means you are trusted with it the owner is god the ministry is not your own the business is not your own you are a steward and the bible says moreover it is required of stewards that they be found faithful hallelujah you are going to pray and say lord i relinquish ownership that spirit of possessiveness that make me want to hold on to things my thing my business my money i like you to pray and say lord i let there be a transition from an owner to a steward lift your voice and pray outside make sure you are praying oh i own nothing it belongs to you jesus i'm a steward you gave me a privilege of I pray. You are a mother. Say, Lord, I'm a steward of that child. I'm a steward in this marriage. I'm a steward in this business. I'm a steward in this ministry. I relinquish ownership. That sense of ownership is depressing me. That sense of ownership is killing me. That sense of ownership has stung my ego i pray and relinquish ownership it belongs to you i surrender it i sacrifice it i sacrifice it i will unashamedly let the whole world know that the anointing belongs to you that the grace belongs to you that the wisdom belongs to you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Ownership is a dangerous thing. See, because the owner of anything is also the one who sponsors the maintenance. If your life is your own, you will maintain it by yourself. There are arrows that fly beyond your control. If your reputation is your own, you will maintain it. It's costly to maintain reputation. Are we together now? Ownership. Please listen. 
don't just pray this as a chorus just for tonight these are divine secrets it's one of the biggest secrets of this ministry you never if i say it maybe it's a mistake hear me say my workers in terms of possessiveness even today you you've heard i hardly am able to call people sons and daughters sometimes people are angry and say no i want you to call me son or daughter but it's not like i don't believe in it but to even say son or daughter i feel i feel um i, I feel i almost feel guilty to say it but some of you where you are you like it everybody including your mother your father is your son and your daughter you like it possessiveness oh i just uh, bought this guy is my own god just uh, gave us wisdom and i was able to build this look at what god has done and god is saying you are just using my name to, to lie you are glorifying yourself using me maintain it and then an armed robber comes that's when you will know that if it belongs to you you maintain it you enter the relationship but it's my relationship i must do this and it's killing you you are cooking every day for the guy you don't know whether he's going to marry you or not you, you are even confused you are prayed and god said it's your relationship you have rejected my wisdom because it's your marriage marry are we together please pray again and cry to the god of heaven and say lord i'm tired of pain i hand it over to you i'm tired of pain i'm tired of disappointment that comes from ownership i'm tired of pain the pain of my ego being stung i'm tired of pain the pain of disappointment i hand everything over to you Oh, yes, it belongs to you. 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 My times are in your hands. My times are in your hands. My times are in your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. Some of you will go back this night and you will be able to sleep sound. There are people who cannot sleep because of worry. You know what causes worry? Worry is a direct sign of ownership. In the Garden of Eden, man was never given ownership. In the kingdom, you are not given ownership. You are given access. He said you may freely eat of the tree. It's not your own, but you may freely eat. Are we together now? You may freely eat. If someone blesses me now with an envelope, God is my witness. I thank God for the money, but it belongs to God. If God doesn't say anything about it, I remove my tithe and do something useful with it. If God says, so it to this person, I say, it's going. I'm not teaching you to be careless, but you, there must be, you must increase your your ease of releasing things releasing things some of you there are clothes you are not using they will never be your size forever but to release it Kai, i say abba i bought something i wore it twice you kill that spirit in this fasting there are many things in our rooms in our homes shoes that are not your size they gave you as a gift but it's not your size release it to somebody god has instructed you since and you are saying God, god this thing is paining me i know how much i'm looking for somebody who will buy it you are a greedy person who will never rise up release until the clothes tear into pieces you tell the tale of patch here patch here and you say i'm, I'm donating to you no. when was the last time two or three people came and said kai let's look at the house of god what is required in this house we are going to buy we are going to change the chairs for the minister four of us god is helping us at, at least we know we are not poor let's put together something listen this is what asks ask the people close to me i do it as a personal sacrifice there are times i tell the treasurer no leave this issue i will sow into the ministry because i believe in it i plan to remain the biggest giver in this ministry for a long time 
I do it with all my heart. Not because it's an obligation. I do it from the depth of my heart. Sacrifice. There are things that, there are things that I cannot begin to tell you now because you think he's bragging. There are reasons why I will never go down in my life. There are monies I would have built houses with and done a lot of things that went by sacrifice for the school fees of people. There are people working in different places today who on account of certain sacrifices are happy. Which devil will come and destroy my life? Sacrifice. Are we together? Sacrifice. The sacrifice of waking up and not sleeping when you should be up praying. God wants to speak to you. You are lazy and sluggish. No heart of sacrifice. I want you to go back tonight and take action. Listen. Search your home. Any clothes or anything you know you are not going to be using. Don't say rainy day. Every, carry it and give. I'm serious. There are people here God is going to speak to you. You know you have new clothes, new suits. It's not your size. You can't use it. Give it away. Release it and give space for more. Every time you reject, you stop giving something, you are telling God, this is the limit you can bless. Me. Check around the house of God. What can I do as a project for the kingdom? Not what Koinonia is doing. Not project 10,000. What can we do, three of us? If we cannot do anything, let's buy a new glass cup for the man of God. It is 2,000 or 3,000. Oh God, this is my sacrifice. A new glass cup I bought for your house. You must take kingdom responsibility. Listen, by the grace of God, this ministry is blessed. We are dangerously blessed. I'm not, this is not some manipulation to collect your money. We're a very responsible ministry. But I must teach you. I never go to a place and my seed will not leave there. No. There are times I go for ministration after they honor me. I carry the honorarium, bless them and sow it back. What have you done for the house of God? You are looking at the worship team. One day you just come together and say, Look, let's put 100,000. Head of worship, take this is for your traditional attires. For miracle service, this is our seed. You don't have to stand and give testimony and say, Praise the Lord. I just wanted you to know that this beautiful design came from my creativity. You have, you have corrupted the beauty of your reward. Is God speaking to us? When was the last time you said, let me look for five sinners that gave their life to Christ here and buy books, five, 500 naira from Jordan bookstore and just bless them and say, this is my seed. Just to encourage your spiritual life. Sacrifice. Everything is about me, my food, my this, my that. When was the last time you saw someone in Koinonia here? You know you are fellow brethren and things have gone wrong in his life. He doesn't have to cry. You just say, I have 5,000. Sir, the Lord just led me to buy you a nice share. Some of you, God can't even give you this instruction because uh, your heart is pegged to disobey His voice. So if God says it, He's wasting His time. There's a lady who sends me recharge card, 5,000 5, every month. She sent me a text yesterday. She said, I'm in trouble. I was surprised at the speed at which I responded to her. Not that I'm showing favoritism. I remembered her sacrifice. This evening, I usually don't attend to people. The people who brought the guy who was not working well, God did a mighty miracle. That woman had met me one time and she blessed me in a way that I almost wept. And when she said, I'm sorry, man of God, I know you are praying, but this is an emergency. I, I had respect. I'm a man, but I had respect for her sacrifice. Don't come and say you want not from me. I, I don't need your money. I'm saying there is a way you can cry to God. God looks at your altar and there is a pile of sacrifice. When you lift your voice, even in praise and worship, God will say, No, I remember what you did for the kingdom. When Dorcas died, when Dorcas died, she was dead, but her sacrifice was alive, calling her back to life. Calling her back to life. What have you done for the kingdom?
that you can look at the sacrifice in your village that was done to put you in poverty what have you done in the house of god and say lord i leave this as another priesthood another altar i know that it took slaying seven virgins to put my family in trouble but i stand there is a sacrifice for your house that sacrifice i cannot sit down and nobody comes to bless me no 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 there is my sacrifice speaking there are too many things in the house of god only those who have the heart can see it are we together three or four people can come and say look for this month the boss protocol how much do you spend if i tell you how much we spend on bus per service you'll be amazed when I saw the, the, the financial breakdown, because I don't even put my hand there, I leave the finance department. When they were submitting the reports last year, and I saw the expenditure of Koinonia, I couldn't believe. If I tell you how many millions, some of you will run away. I said, oh, goodness, see the mercy of God. But your own is to enjoy. That's why you remain there. It is more blessed to give. It's blessed to receive, but it's more blessed to give. And there is he that weepeth, it's his tears that makes his seeds precious. God loves a cheerful giver, but he doesn't hate a crying one. The Bible doesn't say he hates a crying one. There are times you will need to cry. God is speaking to you. Last prayer, Lord, give me an instruction of a sacrifice for the next level of my life. If you don't believe, don't pray this prayer because God will answer you. Lift your voice and pray. Give me an instruction. Give me an instruction, oh God, of a sacrifice. Give me an instruction. I'm tired of this level. It's mocking the grace of God upon my life. Send me a word, oh God, my heart is inclined to hear and respond. Please pray, pray. Shakabaroto soto bariata baradabada. Give me an instruction. Give me an instruction. Speak to me, oh God. I will obey. I will obey. The grace has been released. I will obey. In the name of Jesus, I will obey. Hallelujah. Let's add one more prayer. I kill the spirit of greed from my life. Lift your voice and pray. Greed, you have cheated me. In 2016, I drive you far from my life. Pray. That spirit of greed, you have kept me in lack. You have kept me in insufficiency. You have tied down my life, my progress, my destiny. Pray. I kill the spirit of greed. I kill the spirit of greed. I kill the spirit of greed. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift up your prayer request. Revelation 5 verse 12. Those outside, please participate. Lift up your prayer request. Look for it wherever it is. Lift it up unto the God of heaven. Lift it up unto the God of heaven. And let's pray. What you are doing is sacrifice. Those outside, what you are doing is sacrifice. Every day you are coming. It's not just a religion. Sacrifice, whether on the positive or negative, releases power. Sacrifice releases power. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, wisdom, and strength. The word there is capacity. Capacity. They that know their God say they shall be strong. It takes the heart of sacrifice. Please lift your hands. Some of these requests are business ideas. Some of these requests lifted are things that will require sacrifice to provoke a response. The sacrifice may not necessarily be money.
the sacrifice will be more time for studies are we together now go and learn about the business you want to excel in that may be the sacrifice the sacrifice may be the sacrifice of submitting yourself to mentorship the sacrifice may be the sacrifice of honor the sacrifice may be the sacrifice of prayer it takes sacrifice they went round jericho once was god so powerless to have waited seven days they went round jericho twice and then on the seventh day he said go seven times and then when you are exhausted he said blow the trumpet with all your energy and when they did that jericho fell down if they were to break that place with hammer even one year they will not destroy it. when you say what you are doing is too much let's look at the alternative poverty are, are we together now some of you the devil is speaking to you and say i've been coming here every day look at the alternative 20 years of captivity they gave back to you in it and god is saying give me time and let me bring rest to you on every side i'm about to pray for you the prophets of baal listen when they started calling on their god they first started by singing and when the matter got serious they started cutting themselves what did they want the god to see are we together they first started by singing they were dancing all around the mountain when it looked like the matter was becoming serious the bible says they took knives and started cutting themselves for him to see blood and say bear where are you what is all this and elijah was looking at them when it was time for elijah the bible says they put stones and he he slew animals he said god i know how to bring you down and he came down the fire came down and lit everything. Please lift those sacrifices. My altar is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you. Oh God, take my praise. Oh God, take my praise. I prophesy over this request. The same way Jericho fell before Israel, I pray everything that has mocked God has lifted before the throne it falls tonight in the name of jesus it falls tonight in the name of jesus it falls tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah the bible says the eyes of the father the eyes of god runs to and fro my god look down to your people there is an altar that calls you in this place and we are asking visit your people and give them testimonies 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 he told moses moses told them he said fear not he says stand still he said these egyptians that you see you will see them no more forever i prophesy to you the challenges you are lifting before the god of heaven that have brought tears impossible situations that only require the hand of god may fire burn them to ashes in the name of jesus may fire burn them to ashes in the name of jesus may fire burn them to ashes in the name of jesus hallelujah there is a god that not only hears but he answers i'm praying for you your eyes have seen it your ears have heard it may your hands handle the testimony may your hands handle the testimony koinonia may your hands handle the testimony 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, there are many of us here. What you need for those answers is just a little more endurance. Are we together? That's what God is saying. What you need is just a don't give up. The, the problem is there because you are about to give up. The Bible says, let us not be weary in well-doing. He said, for we will reap in due season. Help her under the anointing. If we faint not. Hear me. I supply strength for you. Because, listen. Some of these requests are ideas that you have tried and tried and tried. Some of you are at the verge of giving up. Because you are wondering, will it ever happen? God have waited. I pray for you. The Bible says, by the strength of an ox is much good, is much profit realized. I'm praying the endurance to continue. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The endurance to continue. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The endurance to continue. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The endurance to continue. That that go getter mindset. That go getter. That that die hard no return mindset. I plant it in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to prophesy to some people to tell you what you did and failed. Go back. That you failed does not mean my hand is not there. Go back and stay there till you succeed. I like you to shout, I will stay there. Say it, I will stay there. I will do it again until I succeed. Can we just pray it in one minute? Just pray it and say, Lord, I'm not giving up. No way. I did it and failed, but I stayed there. I stayed there. There is an anointing. The place of my pain is also the place of my glory. The place of my tears is also the place of my celebration. I will stay there until victory comes. He that endures to the end shall receive a crown and a white stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My phone, please. Please sit down and let's have the word for the prophetic focus for tomorrow. How many of you have seen transformation in your life, your spiritual life, every area? Please make sure you write down the prophetic focus. It's to help us. It's very interesting how the Lord instructs that we address these things. Tomorrow, we are going to be considering the focus, this mystery called humility. Write it down. I will be sharing with you some powerful keys. This mystery, write it the way I am saying it. That's how God asked me to read it out. This mystery called humility we are going to be contending for grace tomorrow i'll be showing you the all surpassing excellence of true humility these are deep kingdom secrets that produce champions as if the devil does not exist james chapter 4 verse 6 james chapter 4 verse 6 Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, the anchor scriptures. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. First Peter 5, verse 6. First Peter 5, verse 6. I'll repeat it very quickly. This mystery called humility. James 4, verse 6. Philippians 2, verse 3. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. Tomorrow we are going to be examining the, the deceitfulness of pride and how it has cheated people from entering the realms of greatness and increase. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Father, we thank you for your grace, your help. We thank you for your word to us. I pray in the name of Jesus that the altar of sacrifice will begin to speak in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of the sacrifices you have made for the kingdom, I pray that like Mordecai, a book of remembrance will be opened over you. And the Lord will reward you a thousandfold. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.